Welcome back to Expose Tuesday. Ever had this problem where you try to share something on your device or try to open a file and then the system brings up a list of so many things that you end up having to scroll through to figure out what exactly the application you want to use to open up said media or even share to? Well, with this Expose module called Custom Share, we'll be able to customize what shows up in that list and make sure that it's no longer an issue for us. Let's check it out. The first thing we want to do guys is go directly into the Expose installer, look for custom share, check the box, it's version 3.5.3, restart the device and everything should be set. You can go in directly within the application by launching it from the launcher or it directly from the installer. Uh, we have two different tabs here. There's the open with, which you'll see here is denoted here, open with. So this is anytime you select a file type that doesn't have an associated app with it, this is the list that you'll get. You can see here that the list, if you say show me, this is a preview of what it could look like. Um, depending on the file type and the media type, it will select different subsets of this list. But what you can do, an example, if you notice Chrome is showing up in this list now, if I select it here, it will disable it from the custom share. So I can no longer share with Chrome. If you have multiple browsers, file browsers, and different things on your system, this is very functional for being able to basically just disable them from showing up in the list, saving time for basically sharing things. The other tab that we have here is when you say switch mode, is the share with. This is anytime you're trying to share an item directly from your file manager or anywhere to another application. Now this list is a little bit shorter, mostly because the application itself has to be able to receive shared items. So this, these applications are enabled. Um, you can again show the, uh, the preview version of it, but mostly what I'd like to disable for me, at least not now, is that my chat program is not something I normally like to share with things with it. So I disabled it by default. Um, there is a, a settings tab, very simple. It gives you the ability of hiding the application. You can change the icon for it. By default, it comes with the, this little blue and red one. I like to go with the yellow and red. It looks more, well, it looks better. Show search option, which essentially is just a little option I'll show you guys in a second. Uh, disable, uh, basically here, disable, don't ch uh, change anything. Basically, if you wanna just keep the module in there, but disable it. Personally, I would just disable it from the installer, but this is another option. Uh, log, app, log new apps as well as enable logging if you're having any problems with it. Uh, the share option right now is right here. If you select it, it will pop up and up and you'll be able to share a uh, search and you have to be able to basically just get that real quick. Installation and use is pretty simple, really. Uh, most of the thing you wanna make sure, obviously, is download and install it. It is compatible with Marshmallow. I did test it out on the Nexus 6P and it will work on Lollipop as it is a module that has been around for some time. The main benefit of course here is the ability to customize and limit the type of applications that show up within whenever you click something that says open with or share with and you can customize what shows up in that list, making it faster and easier if you know exactly what are the things that you normally share with and take out all those extra stuff that you normally don't use. Of course, you can go back and put them back in if you want to just by unhighlighting the item from the selection. Switching between the two different modes is simple, going into the settings and then again, making sure that you take out the, uh, the actual uh, app from the launcher if you want to. It's also simple enough and you can search for what you want to disable. Um, overall, pretty simple module. I like it very much. Uh, make sure you have a rooted system. Make sure you have Expose installed and an unlock system if you're running Marshmallow. I'll give you guys a link in the description below to my XDA video that I did to be able to unlock and root our Nexus 6P to get us basically to this point. And the version of the installer that I have is 7.8. You do need to be running obviously the latest version. Um, but again, really good module, very easy, saves us a lot of time and hope you guys like this. As usual, like and subscribe to this channel and I will see you guys in the next one.